yes, yes, yes. One, one, one. It's 2021. It's the first, the first one, baby. The first Carlos Cicada show of the year. Let me know. Let me know. I'm grateful for being alive. I'm grateful from not running away from my problems because that's a race you will never win. When I see the devil, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm six, five, 300 pounds, the tsunami, it's coming, baby. I'm bringing, I am running away because I learned a long time ago, if you run away, it would just, you keep adding more layers to it. So today we're gonna keep it real. And we're gonna talk about how is in the next 99 days, we're gonna create new habits and make 2021 the foundation to be the best year and decade of our entire life. Because a long time ago, I made a promise to some little kids in the streets. They were murdered, but I survived. And we have this saying, whoever leaves the hood, <laughs> whoever leaves the hood, we are gonna make a difference. We are gonna make an impact. We were going to never, ever, ever forget where we came from. Competition, don't try to start it. <laughs> you won't graduate, baby. <laughs> Say it again, brother, that feels good. Don't try to start in me, competition. You won't graduate. I made that promise a long time ago. And I made it personal. You wanna succeed in life in anything? Make it freaking personal. And never forget to fulfill a promise that you made yourself a long time ago. Let's go, let's go. It's day one, 2021, the first show of the year i'm super fired up let me know you guys are watching us right now hit that like button hit the subscribe button share it thank somebody here right now because somebody out there needed to hear this message today and you never know when it's a loved one maybe it's your spouse maybe somebody's in your team someone around you that needed to hear this message thank that person here Tell them because today's going to be an awesome show, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be great because, you know, the drill, I am not perfect. Neither you are. So let's get it. Let's have a good time here. And today, let's see what we get in stake here for you guys. So here's the thing. I'm going to here's I'm, start with the end in mind. So we're going to talk about three rules that's going to change the game for us. So rule number three, we're going to reverse engineer it. You got to pay attention to the little things, right? Because success and failure, they don't just show up in our lives, right? It's the little things. Think about it. Nobody just wake up and you are the CEO and founder of Facebook. You don't just wake up and say, I'm going to make an electric car and I'm going to give Toyota and Ford and, and, and Chevy a run for their money. And I'm going to be, and I'm going to take my cars to the freaking moon and Elon Musk. You don't just do it. It's the little things. You don't just have an extraordinary quality of relationship with your spouse, with your team, with your employees, with your children, with your neighbors, with your friends. You got to put in the time. It's the little things. It's peeling the onion and going deep. Think about it. Think about this for a second. When is the last time that you actually talked to your spouse and then you literally like ask just simple questions. Hey, what does it make you feel loved? What is the actions that I do that makes you feel loved? That makes you feel special? That makes you feel alive? So we're not, not just living. We are doing what it makes us feel alive. Too many human beings out there. I like human doings versus just being. Being yourself, listen to yourself, going deep. 
I want us for us to build a, such a strong foundation, guys. Every single show that I do, normally I interview people here, but today, because it's the first one of the year, I want to have a real talk with you guys. Because I want to build this foundation so strong for your family, your business, yourself, so that you can fulfill your dream. We're going to build this foundation so strong. So you're going to make this year the most incredible year of your entire life. You know why? Because you survive 100% of your worst days. Who here is happy? Come on, brother Carlos. Come on. Who here is happy that 2020 is over and you are ready to make 2021 the best, most incredible, most alive, most vibrational, because you are about to become irresistible. You are about to become incredible. You are about to become indestructible. Who here is feeling that? Who here knows that, that you know, you senses, you know what I mean? That the vibration, the energy is just something deep inside of you. It's calling you. It's telling you it's your time. Tell me, tell me, get up, stand up right now. Look in the air like you don't care. Make a little dance and tell yourself, it's my time. Say it, say it out loud. It's my time. It's my time. It's my time. Time. How does it feel? Write it down. Drop it something in the comments. I'm telling you, somebody, sometime, guys, it, it's the little stuff. It's when nobody's watching. Instead of we having conversations with ourselves, like, oh, it's Monday. I'm on the, I'm on, I'm on the way home for you guys that are listening to me right now on your commute and say, man, another just a dreadful day at work. First working day of the year. Hell no. You know, we got to change. We need to rewire our brain for the shit that's uncomfortable. We need to rewire. We need to look. We Like I say, right? we cannot be running away from our problems from the rest of our life because it's a race that we're never going to win. Period. My mission is to make poverty history. I cannot do it by myself. I got to push my team, my loved ones, my friends, my neighbors. I get the community involved, get them in the conversation. And you be the one that just keeps adding value for every single person that you serve, you serve and have no outcome whatsoever. Separate yourself from all outcomes. But it comes down to this why here, the little things, right? You don't feel like making those calls every single day. <laughs> you guess what? You're behind your goals. You are you're behind your bills are accumulating. Your credit cards are maxed out. How many calls are you making every day? Think about it. It's like it's the little stuff, right? How many calls are you making every day? Are you going for what is my favorite word? What is my favorite word? This two letter word here. No. Let me get it right, Carlos. <laughs> Yellow card. No. 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 They say no. You know it, baby. You say next. Have a gratitude of attitude for the word no. Have that for 2021. Every time from now on, somebody reject you, somebody says no, you call them, you, you do a video call, you do a text, you do an audio, whatever. They don't respond, next. They don't respond, next. You get 100 no's and 100 negative, whatever it is. You're going to get up and you're going to put your favorite song and you're going you're gonna to put yourself in state. When nobody's watching, instead of having those other conversations that we have with ourselves, Oh, this doesn't work. Oh, I'm going to quit. Oh, I'm going to go back to my nine to five. Oh, I'm going to choose you, blah, blah, blah. No, hell no. You're going to get yourself in state and you're going to say, they say no, I say next. They say no, I say next. They say no, I say next. Suavemente, I will dance with the rejection. I will take massive action because it's your boy, Carlos Cicada, in your house, no longer single, but ready to mingle, about to bring you some action because you are here and I want you to have massive satisfaction. And you just say it and you rewire your brain. So that you're no longer going to have that pain. Look at me. I can become a poem. <laughs> I'm becoming a poet now. You feel me? You are rewiring. You're having different conversations 
with yourself than what you used to in the past decade. Think about it. What is the internal conversations that you are having with yourself in this past decade, in the past year? Are those conversations, are they serving you or are they bringing you down? Is that time for honesty? Is that time right now for you and I to peel that onion? What does it make you really happy? What does it make you feel fantastic, feel alive? What does it make you get the chills in your skin right now? What does it make you feel like you are living, truly living and not just being alive? It's understanding, guys. It's knowing that stuff, that passion, that drive. Knowing that it is inside every single one of us. We just have to retrain ourselves. If you've been having those negative conversations and, and you know, it, it is no helping you, it's time that we got to focus and pay attention on the little things. Making those calls, saying I am sorry more often when we do the mistakes. Having that vision that pulls you, that drives you. What's his name? Uh, Steve Jobs, man. He has a quote that I always use that I bring here. And the quote is, if you are working on something exciting that you really care about, you don't have to be pushed. It will move you. Look how powerful that is. The vision will pose you. You feel me? Look what I did. I just walked away to get my bottle of water too. You see, I don't care. I don't have to edit it or do none of that. Who cares? See, a lot of people, they think that everything has to be perfect. And never. <laughs> it never has to. It's never going to be perfect. Perfection doesn't exist, guys. But we can always perfect our craft. Always. The biggest thing from this rule over here is literally three rules that I really want us and you to focus on, passing this on to your teams, passing this on to your family. Really pay attention to this rule number three here because it comes down to the little things. That's how the Mayans, they build the pyramids. I love the pyramids. You know, they build that thing. It's just like you know, one of the greatest wonders of the planet. It's one day at a time. You know what I mean? Like right now, if you're coming from the bottle, if you're coming from the hood, I've been there. It's like building yourself one day at a time. One yes at a time. One life at a time. If you if you have your podcast, you have your TV show, it's one at a time. You know, you're out there and you're doing private events in your community for a group of 10 and everybody's far away from each other. And you can only put five people or 10 people instead of 50. It's one at a time. It's just sometimes you just have to make a few adjustments and be okay with it and be patient. How long are you willing to be in the game? If you love what you do, what are you doing right now? How long are you willing to go without a paycheck? I tell people all the time, so many people messaging me, asking me about, you know, opportunities and the crypto and this, because they see all the money that we are making and helping people making money and posting the results. And I tell them, I don't want you just to come in and just thinking that, oh, you're going to, you know, put some money, you're going to make money right away. I want you to understand it. It's the little things. Take the time to read it. Take the time to understand the fundamentals. Who's the people behind? What does the technology do? Who is it helping? How is it changing? Why governments and the banks and, and the institutions, some institutions, they are so afraid? Because it's bringing the world together. Is helping reducing the fees in the middleman and corruption. Think about it. This shit could have been implanted so long ago. I'm not even going to get into it, but it's the little things. The little guys are coming up. All the, you know what I mean? It's like it's the little stuff. It's the little things. And, you know, and, 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 and the last part over here, the rule number three, being the one that does more for others than anybody else in your niche. Think about it. Think about the industry that you serve, your niche, the people that you want. Think about it. Who do you love serving? 
for all the coaches and consultants and speakers and you know people that work from home and the marketers and the agencies out there or for you that work nine to five and maybe you wanted to quit that and you want to start working from home you want to find out how to make your first one hundred thousand dollars a year from home yes i can help you but before we even go there we need to build that onion because if we don't deal with the onion and if we, if we try to run away from the problems, whatever is that, that thing that we don't want to deal with, guess what? They're never going to go away. And eventually, when you get here and you have the whole world watching, guess what? That shit will come out. <laughs> That's why I tell people, keep it real, <laughs> keep it simple, and <laughs> keep it raw, man. That, that's what it takes. You know, if I try to come over here and like, like everything is fine, hell no. When you run international business and you have multiple teams, And we are back. You see, I'm not quitting. Hell no. That is raining outside. They're doing construction in the internet. So if you guys are here, still here right now, I appreciate that. For you guys here late on the replay, we lost internet for about, oh, what, two minutes? I was out of here. Maybe waiting for this thing to come back. Okay, great. We're going to go right back into it. So now, and a big shout for you guys watching right now. We got Moon here from the Philippines. Appreciate you, brother. We are out there, man, helping all those kids. Uh, uh, Al Mednick, wise words for a thriving new year. Yes, sir. Amen. Killing it, brother Al. And uh, let's see. We got Joe. Amen. My brother from another mother. Moon is saying, yes, you're so right, brother. For real. Let's get it. All right. Now let's go to rule number two, guys. We're just recovering the three rules that's going to help you guys game changer over the next 99 days create those habits that's gonna make 2021 the best year to set up the foundation to have the best decade of your entire life if you tell yourself that every single thing that you are telling yourself that's not possible that it is possible and that it is gonna happen and you listen you go back to this life and you raise those vibrations and you change that state and feeling visualizing being and just bring it, don't matter what. Bring it, like, don't matter what, like, being grateful. When the shit is hitting the fan, when they are being negative, they say no, you're losing something in a breakup. And though I'm telling you, I'm telling you, that is power in darkness. 
there is power when you lean the light. I'm telling you, there is power. You, there is light in darkness. I'm telling you, my friend. I am telling you. Oh, man, I'm fired up. I'm fired up. <laughs> Let's get it. Rule number two. Progress equals happiness. Progress equals happiness. You see, changing is automatically. Progress is not. To make real progress, you must to take full control of the process of whatever area of your life you are dealing with right now. It's not just about most people, they, they, they never get to the resolutions because it's just to just write it down and then it's, they, they get fired up for the first two weeks of the year and then that thing dissolves it. Think about it. Let's analyze our own behaviors. Let's not even think about other people. Let's think about ourselves. You know, I go, I look back when I used to do resolutions back in the day, <laughs> you know, you never achieve it, you know. I remember how many, like right now, guys, I'm like a day, I'm, my mind is so clear. I am a 70, day, what's it, day 78? Day 78, no alcohol. And I remember doing resolutions like that before. And now I'm going to go for like, you know, say, you know, if I'm going to do my 99 days, you know, uh, uh, no alcohol. And I made the resolutions. 15 days later, on my birthday, it's the end of this month, I will go and I will drink it. You know, but why couldn't, you know what I mean? It's like, why not just go through that birthday, put yourself into, if you have a habit, to put yourself consciously into an unconscious situation and try to, you know, go really through it and really strengthening that that that, that one thing that we need to fix that I'm going to get into it here, which is rule number one, which is why here, man, make this thing so powerful, so powerful that you can do anything. All the things that many people to say it's impossible. I remember my entire life. Hey, little kid, you're never going to get out of the hood. You don't belong in this part of town. You're never going to make it. I remember. Who ever heard that? Somebody maybe that you care, somebody that you love, and they told you that you're not enough. And they told you that you are not going to make it. And they told you that you don't belong. You don't belong on this side of town. Oh, you're going to be back to your country in no time. How are you going to survive in another country by yourself just as an immigrant? It's amazing. Some people, sometimes they say things to people and they don't realize how much they hurt you. But you see, right here, as we build this thing and it's strengthening, I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you, that is power in anything that hurt us, anything that we grew up with, all the deaths and that happened in my lifetime and the people that were taken away from me from murder and all the evil that I seen growing up, man. Turning that anger and that hate and those struggles into drive. Hmm. I'm telling you, it's a powerful, very, very powerful force, my friend. When you start mastering how to how to deal with your mind in a way, I'm telling you, I am telling you. But, you know, I really want you guys to think about this for a minute, you know, about this particular rule over here, because this is so, so important. Think about it, right? Things are always changing, right? Like change is automatically. Like if you don't work out, guess what? Your body will change. You become fat. I lost 15 pounds, you know, going through the holidays. Normally I gain 15 pounds each holiday, I'll gain 10 to 15 on, on Thanksgiving and I'll gain 10 to 15 on Christmas. Now I actually lost 15 on Christmas and I lost 10 on um, uh, Thanksgiving because I'm going I'm on day 78 or 79 right now, no alcohol. So now today I started 75 days, no sugar. Oh, I love sugar. Oh, you love sugar. Sugar, sugar makes a block. Oh, man, I love sugar. Ooh, when I think about sugar, I'm just dancing and grooving because I'm not single but ready to mingle. It's your boy Carlos in the house. Bring you some satisfaction because you're here taking massive action. I just love sugar. Ain't no sugar coating. You give me some chocolate, crispy. 
crunch chocolate ooh chocolate 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 <laughs> i love chocolate but you see even by saying it in my mind no today's day one cannot break the rule <laughs> but see is the thing nobody do want to talk about this shit. we don't want to talk about our emotions or our weakness you know we don't want to peel that onion but if, if you're noticing here the whole theme is we need to be able to build this shit because you know what I mean? It's like, I'm telling you, because <laughs> I'm thinking about chocolate here. And this shit goes actually back to my poverty days, man. I wish when I was a kid, I used to see the kids, right? They would go to the candy store and they would buy like chocolate, you know, and then in the supermarket, I'll see, I'll go there, supermarket with my mom, you know, I would look at our car. I was like a bunch of rice bags, you know, some cans of beans. That was like, you know, the dessert. Sometimes, you know, a little piece of meat. And I would see the other kids, you know, they have the yogurt, the chocolate. And I would, you know, I would just, I wanted that so bad. You know, I used to get sad, you know, because, you know, we couldn't afford it. And, but this shit, it, it's like, it hunts you, you know, as you grow in life. And then as, as you, as you start building your wealth and you get better and you leave that life behind of you but that shit just it hunts you like you know whenever you see the chocolate you just want to eat more you go to the buffet and you just want to eat the whole freaking place you know what i mean to get your money's worth when it's just stupid you know i used to think like that it's like you gotta eat the chocolate you gotta oh you, you've gotta you gotta eat the whole bar why not break it down the damn bar like in three parts but you see none of us you know what i mean our mind the way how we are designed it's like even to talk about this, you know, we have this thing over here, right? Our prefrontal cortex. Oh, hell no. And that's the shield is preventing us. That's the fight or flight. It's preventing any crap that doesn't feel good. It doesn't want to let it pass through here to get to the back, which is the smart one. It's our smarter part of our brain. The, the one that goes deep. What our highest self lives. Because I'm telling you, that's power, my friend, in going deep, in peeling those onions. And having those conversations with ourselves, taking that time, those eight, 10, 15 minutes a day to close your eyes and just go deep. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, <laughs> who else is feeling me here today? I'm fired up. We had some internet problems earlier. It's raining outside and it's, <laughs> it's they doing construction. It's a nightmare. It's all good. They're always doing construction, man, and putting <laughs> I'm not ever going to get into it. All right. You know, let's go to rule number one. I'm just having too much fun over here. <laughs> Freaking out. I have did our daily chocolate. I know you do. San Francisco, you know. <laughs> I used to go there many times. Trust me. My wife and I, we love going there on a date to the Italian restaurant by the pier 22 or 20 something. So many peers out there. What's up, Jerry's? <laughs> For real, brother. You know, tell me about it, man. Who doesn't love that chocolate? You know, top of the same. Congrats. You know, for real. We got original Big Sal. What's up? What's up? We got Facebook user. What's happening? The fire within, baby. Facebook user, let me tell you something. When you click on the button, for the stream yard to say allow you to show your name and it will show your message but i love facebook you whoever you are thank you for the love we got youtube in the house what's up carlos we got linkedin here jerry's we got everybody's here man we all over facebook youtube linkedin uh, amazon roku tv boom we are everywhere and let's go to oh man this is the number one now guys this is number one you know but you guys, you know, you get it. You know what I mean? It's like, it's, you know, even over here, rule number two, it's just like the little things, taking full control. Actually, before I go to number one, I need to expand a little bit more here on number two because is nobody, you see, the, the, the world doesn't care about you, but the world doesn't hate you either. And nobody's going to do nothing for you other than you are the only person that can do and work on that thing that you really wanted to change. In order for something to change, for you to get the happiness from the progress, you must be the change. So you need to visualize that person, that body, 
You need to visualize what's the qualities and whatever you want. The, you know, the, 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 whatever is your thing. If you need somebody who's gonna have a high IQ or a low IQ, they're gonna be skinny, fat, whatever is your taste. My godmother, she's OG. She's like, taste is like your ASS. Everybody has their own. OG, right? <laughs> I love you, godmother. You're a rock. Grande abraço, madrinha Thelma. Essa foi pra senhora. <coughs> oh man, I'm telling you, and it's not the corona, it's the Heineken. All right, I'm not gonna go there either, you know. But for real, think about it. I want you guys to think about that for a minute. You know, it's like anything, we just have to take full control of whatever is that thing that you say, you know what, 2021, this new decade is gonna be different than every previous decade. If you're in your 40s or 50, you're going to make more money this decade and have a, a better extraordinary quality of life with every relationship that you are we are in it now and the ones that you will meet than your last three or four or five decades. I don't care. It's because you're going to put full focus into that thing. You're going to take full control of the each process that you're trying to change. Your body, you're going to take full control. Your relationship, you're going to take full control. You're going to put in the time. You're going to put in the work. You are going to be a do-it-first leader. You're going to be that change that you seek in others, and it's going to start with us. Because nothing is going to change. Nobody's going to hinder to us. The world is not going to say, here it is. They're not going to just come over and say, hey, come over here on my show, on the podcast, on Oprah, on whatever. And if you be honest with you, they're going on those damn shows. It's not going to change nothing. You feel me? For anything to change, we got to change. But again, we got to peel those onions. We got to peel it. You know, going on the famous people, TV shows, and all this blah, 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 or getting the New York bestseller that most gurus buy it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Did I just say that? Yeah, they all buy this shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? For real, I don't care. I don't give a damn. You know, but think about it. All right, Carlos, be nice. All right, all right. I'm just fired up. I mean, it's just so many emotions right now. I lost a friend for suicide, and it's so much wins also. And it's so, you know what I mean? But it's just, that's the shit. You got to talk about it. You don't teach what you need to learn. You teach what you need to preach. You teach what you must to remember. That's the shit that we got to teach. We need to teach and talk about the things that we need to remember so that we can become that change that we want to see in the entire whole world. You guys are feeling me on this? Somebody, I'm not trying to preach here, but somebody drop an amen or hit the like button, you know, on the bottom if you are feeling me. Lisa Marie said, congratulations, baby, for real. You know, I'm telling you, I'm going to lose 100 pounds now. I'm going to go 75. You guys are going to see me too shaping my entire body throughout this. For the first time in my life, I'm going to go 75 days, no sugar. And here's the kicker. If I break the rules on the 75 to 99 days, I got to go back to day one. That sucks. So, again, we're going to do it. We're going to do it together. If you guys are down, you know, we're going to do it. We do it as a team. You don't have to go pay nobody or go pay a coach or go subscribe or drop an email to anything. No. You just draw a line in the sand and you say, I am going to do it. Period. Just take some notes right now from what I am saying, for God's sake. You know what I mean? It's like, that's what it takes, guys. You don't need to go hire a coach or pay a, a, a trainer. Sorry, trainers. You know, and no, you don't need to text me either on Messenger trainers because I just told you that I'm going to lose 100 pounds. They always do that. <laughs> you know, here's guys, the number one. The number one, that's the keys to the kingdom right here. We got to raise your standards. That's the one over here that if we're going to really literally take it to the next level, we need to take, raise our standards. Literally, ask yourself, you know what I mean? You know, think about it, right? What is that thing that you no longer tolerate? Because you don't get in life what you want. You get in life what you tolerate. If you look at your lifestyle and you look at how you've been living this past year, this past decade, since we're talking about the last decade, and then for most people, they had a little hiccup with the covid and it's all how you look at it because some people had extreme amounts of abundance. Other people that I mentioned, they have a lot of abundance. Yes, I lost, you know, family members and friends for COVID, you know, but also a lot of people lost a lot of money and all they seen was negative and stuff. But a lot of people actually, they become the wealthiest in their entire life. It's all how you look at it because, again, it's raising that vibration, raising our mindset, 
raising our standard in every single area of our life that we are trying to change. Remember what we are doing here. We're building this foundation for the next 99 days that's going to set ourselves to have the best year in decade of our entire life. And it goes right into those three rules that we are talking about over here. And you got to. You got to raise your standard and you got to be honest right here. See how we've been talking about peeling the onion? What is that thing that you no longer tolerate right now? You know, like I remember when I was just like broken and wanted to quit and I just like, you know, what does he no longer tolerate? I no longer, when I was a kid and when I wanted to kill myself, I no longer tolerate seeing my mom or my grandma being abused. I no longer tolerate seeing my friends that were being murdered. I no longer tolerate seeing those that poverty that was happening around. I no longer tolerate us being treated indifferently because we were poor or from the other side of town. And I remember growing up and it started, you know, getting in through my, my, my teen years and, and, you know, the same thing. You know what I mean? What did you no longer tolerate? And I remember when I first came to America and I had to go door to door and I was working as an immigrant and I would go to prisons. I would go to the hood and I would train people. I would go to places that nobody was willing to go. I raised my standard to put myself into an uncomfortable place, an uncomfortable situation. Many times I would go to the hood and I would have to go sell cable door to door. And it was crazy. Think about this for a minute. I'll tell you guys a crazy story. So it's like 7 p.m. and you are in Baltimore. And you're in the hood. <laughs> Back in the day in Baltimore, it was crazy. You know what I mean? It was crazy. So now <laughs> I'm there and we got to do auditing. We need to disconnect. They were having some of the, the areas that we were going, they were having illegal cable. So we needed to disconnect the illegal cable. And then we need to go knock at their door to tell them, hey, I'm the cable guy. If you need that cable back, I can put it back on. It's going to cost you 30, 40, 50 bucks a month, whatever the promo was back then. <laughs> so, but imagine now. It's seven o'clock at night. It's cold as hell outside. You know, like, oh my, the East Coast weather. Oh Lord, I don't like it. The weather. I'm from the jungle. You know, I'm not gonna get into the weather either right now. But <laughs> think about look. So look. So now, in, look, look, I want you guys to really picture. This. this is like a scene from a movie. Like, look at this shit. I should talk to my uh, pro, uh, director's friends. We should make this shit into a movie because I gotta go. Outside the apartment, you know, you're in the projects, you're in the hood, like it's the hood, you know. I gotta go and disconnect it, <laughs> the cable, and now I gotta go inside and I gotta go knock all the doors for the apartments that were having illegal cable. So now I go <laughs> and I knock the first door. Hey there, I mean, I had a big heavy accent. My name is Carlos, my friend. How are you? I'm from Brazil. I'm here to bring you some entertainment. You know, I noticed that your cable was, you know, you know, not a proper connected outside. So we had to disconnect. And if you wanted to uh, get it back on, I can give you like a free first month and then it will be like 30, 40 bucks a month. All I need is your name, your address over here and your telephone. You know, so most most times they were like smooth, right? Because, you know, I'm there, I'm fired up, I'm bringing the energy, I'm bringing the fire. But, you know, that's the stuff that you got to bring it. But you got to you got to love this shit. Whatever you do, if you don't love it, if you don't bring it, guess what? They will feel it. And that shit really served me at the next door. So now everything goes smooth. Door number one. Got my metal folder. Do I have any metal folder on here from back in the day? Maybe not. Maybe, you know, uh, next time I have one. And then, so here we go now. Big Brazilian teddy bear, 6'5", 300 pounds, good looking, handsome, not single, ready to mingle, about to bring you some satisfaction because you are here with taking massive action. Okay, Carlos, get back to the story. <laughs> and then, now, door number two. <laughs> oh. Things were moving, chairs were moving, gun clicks. I could hear guns. Oh, shit. And I was like, oh, Lord, here we go again. Yeah, that wasn't the first time. <laughs> you cannot fake this shit. Oh, man. And now I'm over there. You, if you, you see, if you run, you get shot. If you stay there, you might have a chance. <laughs> you feel me? That's how I look at it. In my mind, you know, I was young, but you know, in my mind, that's, that's, that's what I'm telling you. That training, 
The shit, our mind is so powerful. And now the door opens and here it comes the gangsters. <laughs> In your face with the guns. Who the F is you? Blah, blah, blah. I was like, <laughs> here we go. Uh, uh, uh. And I go, hey, my friend, my name is Carlos. I'm from Brazil to bring you some entertainment for your cable TV. Please do not shoot me. Please, please, please. My grandma has diabetes. I pay for her medicine. I have a lot of kids in Brazil. I'm just here to bring you guys some internet entertainment. I have no trouble. <laughs> that was my thing. That was my pitch. You know, whenever I had the gun pulled on me, which is true. You know, and I had the heavy accent. Now, not as much. You know, so now they were like, <laughs> still there <laughs> and looking at each other this fool is a cop you know I'm, I'm big and I'm, my shirt is black I'm 6'5 300 pounds I was you know fit back then so you know I'm good looking stuff but you know I literally look like a cop I look like a seal like, like a soldier like I'm there about to take it down operations I would feel the same way I come from the block you know see somebody like me walking around you know you're just thinking like you're too cool for the school like your shit doesn't stink we're like oh, hell no let's rob this fool no I'm just kidding you know, <laughs> but I'm from the hood, so I know the feeling. I knew why they were thinking that shit. So now, <laughs> you know, this is crazy. This is on my book, too. If you read my book, Work Like an Immigrant, great book, by the way, to read and to give it away as a gift for if you, you know, for you guys that love reading books, highly recommend it, guys. Pick up a copy. We give it away. All the all the proceeds goes to helping kids. Uh, they are facing hunger. Work like an immigrant. If you buy it, give your mother a shout. It's everywhere. Apple and Amazon and the local libraries. It's a very great book. Not just because it's mine. It's a great book. Okay, back at this story. And now they will go patch this dude for wires. So they, then they will patch me for wires. And then I go, look, my friend, if, if I let you, if you let me open my folder, I can show you the work orders for the person that I just sold the next door. So they always help, <laughs> you know, because they will see the work orders and then they will be like, okay, he's a cable guy. Sometimes they will go to, with me to the door just to make sure hey, this guy, the cable guy, it's crazy. I will be paranoid too, you know, imagine you are a gangster, for example, and you dealing drugs and cocaine and marijuana, whatever you're dealing, you're doing some crazy operation and it's seven o'clock at night in the projects, in the hood, in the early 2000s, <laughs> you know, and you're in Baltimore, in the block, in the hood, and, and a six, five, 300 guy, pound guy knock at your door in the middle of operations. You know, it's about to go down, you feel me? But again, at those moments, I needed to like, boom, that's when the training, like you don't prepare on the shit is happening. You got to prepare. We got to raise our standards right now. Like look how, look how we are building, right? Those three rules. It's the little things. We're doing one thing at a time. We're building ourselves. It's every day we are building so that we are mastering this one thing. The one key to it all, which is building the mental toughness. Having the mental toughness attitude. That's what it comes down to, building that foundation, the best gift that you could give to yourself, my friends, and your future generations from now is adopting and creating a mental toughness. It's like, a, I'm doing it, this shit, no matter what, like, I'm you just, just do it attitude. Like, I even did a post, or maybe I haven't done that post yet, but I will show you guys one over here, the post, maybe I did do the post. And it is, here, let me take in the words from below. Stop making excuses, right? Think about it. Think about it like, don't you hate excuses when people give you excuses? You know, uh, are you tired? Okay, you sleep earlier. Okay, oh, you didn't sleep good throughout the night? Okay, take a daily nap for five minutes or 10 minutes after lunch. It helps big time. I tell all my friends and all my clients around the world, oh, you out of shape? You know, no, the belly is this way, and you got a big belly. Where are the belly? Oh, right here. <laughs> you out of shape? Exercise even if it sucks. Just tell yourself, I'm going to do it for the next 99 days with Carlos, and we don't have to subscribe to anything. You don't have to pay anybody. We're just going to all do it together every day for 99 days, even if it sucks. We're going to commit to do three things every day that goes against our comfort zone. 
We're going to consciously put ourselves, not in the projects, to knock on some gangster's doors trying to cut that cable. <laughs> no, who needs to help you, right? Oh, I don't have time. Okay, quit TV and social media. There is a bunch of social media apps that actually help you reduce your consumption of social media. You can actually go to those apps and you can program it. Okay, I want to be on social media 30 minutes or an hour or two hours less per week. Take baby steps. Don't go try to eat that elephant at one, at once at a time. No, no, you gotta do it one bite at a time, not one bite only. Oh, I don't have the money. You don't have to spend any money. And for the people that say they don't have the money when it comes down to invest money, come on, just stop wasting it. I'm telling you, we are peeling the onions here, guys. We are keeping it real as F. You know, I've been trying to work on our cousin big time. So that, see, mom, I told you, I see Les Brown, I told you too, brother. <laughs> you know, oh, it seems too complicated. Start small. And just try it. All we're doing over here, 99 days to build a foundation. And we're doing it together. You feel me? And don't have the knowledge. Just do the research and read a book. You know, if you want to change your life, you got to raise your standards. Have a do it attitude because most people won't. It's easier to make excuses than to get out of your comfort zone. Somebody drop a name in. If you feel me or if you know somebody that you care, then you love that goes through that story all the time. You see why I told you at the beginning? Thank somebody that you love here to watch the whole thing and tell them that in the middle of this for two minutes, because of the rain and the construction outside, I live in some wild places. It's always some construction in the jungle and the internet is messing, you know? And I cannot tell you where I live. It's a compound, lots of cameras. Don't try to come here and rob me. <laughs> you won't succeed. But Right back at us. Stay ahead, Carlos. But that's what it comes down to, guys. The rule number one. I'm going to bring it back on, on the screen, which is you got to raise your standards. And we're going to, here's how it's going to work. Make a declaration right now. Just like we had a declaration of independence on this country. Look how beautiful that is. You know, I just love this country. I'm half Brazilian, half American, and I have offices in Brazil, in Silicon Valley, Canada, Australia, and the Philippines. And I travel among all these countries. But the countries that I am the most is USA and Brazil. I, I just love it, I, you know? And think about it. Look, I love the history of US. I'm just a big, big, very patriotic. But here, they made a declaration that to this day, when we talk about it, and you know, Fourth of July, we just we feel it, we love it, we get the joke when we hold the American flag. You guys know sometimes I bring it on my show. You just you feel the love, you feel you. You get I get the chills just to talk about this shit. You feel me? So let's why not make a declaration for you, for your family, for your business, for your life. Let's make 2021. In this decade, the best, most possible one of your entire living life. And like literally, let's focus on rewiring our brain, right? Whenever we feel like pissed off, we wanted to quit, we wanted to give up, we're going to be like, nope, that's what I'm going to go. And we're going to start with habits. So for the next 99 days, here's what we're going to do. You don't have to subscribe to anything. You don't have to drop your email below. You're just going to have to do it. And whenever I'm doing my shows here, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, come by at 5 p.m. Every, I'm here Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 5 p.m. doing my show. And then five days a week, I have my Telegram groups that I'm also teaching, you know, a Bitcoin and finances and so that people can make an extra 100 grand from home. That's, you know, but I am always accessible. I have those time frames, and, and I, I, I made a commitment to be accessible every day to help people better their lives. So no more people needed to commit suicide because of, of money, because of all this shit that, that, that we don't peel the onion, that we don't deal with, that we don't have anybody to talk to. Enough is enough. And I tell people all the time, and you know what I mean? Stop charging people for masterminds and courses that's not gonna change people's life. I tell people all the time, and if you are so great, if you are so good, don't tell people your dreams. Show it to them, baby. Come on, somebody. I mean, that just sounds so good. Say it again, brother Carlos. Somebody drop a name, man. Don't tell people your dreams. Show it to them. 
Be the one that adds more value to others than anybody else. If you guys love this, don't forget to put the, the like button, to subscribe to this channel, whatever you are watching that, to drop some love, to share it, to tag three people here today. But here's the deal, right? That's what we're going to do. For the next 99 days, I want you guys to pick three things. Three things that you're going to do every day. Don't matter what. I don't care if your body hurts, if somebody died. You're just going to do it. We need to see. We need see. We need to prepare our brain. We need to prepare our brain before the tsunami hits. We need to rewire this shit so deep because we have so much shit that's been implanted on us. We need to rewire, and the only way to do it is by becoming mentally tough, and by doing multiple things a day, consciously, putting ourselves into unconscious situation. So no, now we are no longer. We are running away from the problems, which was the beginning of the show when I started here. I even dropped it here again. Now, because it's an, a race that you're never going to win. You feel me? I want you guys to see. Here's the thing. If you treat your relationships with the same intensity that you did at the beginning towards the end, it will never be an end. Just let that sink in for a minute. Think about it. The relationship. When you were a kid, look how much you love yourself. You know what I mean? Growing up, you know what I mean? It's like, think about it. When did you stop telling yourself that you could and you couldn't do something? When did you stop telling yourself or, or not that this is possible versus not possible? I want you to start treating yourself and every person, your loved ones, your teams, the people that you're about to meet online and offline this year, the same way how you treat every loving relationship that you have at the beginning, because it will never be an end if you treat everyone the same way how with the same level and love that you bring at the beginning. It's just so, so powerful, guys. You know what I mean? Like I always tell people, man, it's like most people live paycheck to paycheck. We got to shift it and leave relationships to relationships. And I want us to go build and all of us raise our standards together. And, and literally, three things that you're going to do every day. I'll give you guys some of my examples, the things that I picked to do it. So I did it 78 days, no alcohol. That was awesome. First time. Super excited for that. I'm Now I started today 70, um, 78 days of no alcohol. So now I'm going to do 99, no sugar. So 99 days, no sugar. And then I'm going to also add to it. I'm going to go for, for the full 99 days also, no alcohol. My birthday is the end of this month. So on my birthday, I will celebrate. Maybe I will have, uh, you know, a wine and a shot of whiskey on my birthday. You know, I'm, I'll, I'll be traveling. And uh, it's a lot of stuff happening right now. A lot of amazing things happening right now. We're helping a lot of people make some money right now. But right, this show today, it's not about that. It's about the 99 days of us together so i will finish the 99 days with no alcohol i'm at 78 days now and then i'm starting today 99 days of no sugar so basically the sugar will be one of the things so let's say for example sugar and alcohol that'll be number one right number two i'm going to exercise everybody hates exercise but you don't like if you're really honest nobody likes exercise it's cool but it's like oh my god i love it you wake up in the morning like yeah i'm gonna go exercise hell no you know what I mean, you're being real, you know it, but so that's why we are gonna commit. If you want to commit, somebody that's gonna commit, just put it in the comments. You're gonna commit to exercise minimum 40 minutes a day for 99 days. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this is the best gift that you could give it to yourself. 40 minutes, you know, is enough time to raise your heart and make sure that you consult with your doctor, you know, and end up. Uh, Put a little thing, measure your, your stuff, yourself. This is not, I'm not giving you any professional advice or financial advice here. It's to just go chat with, don't, don't talk to people, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but that would be, for example, one of my examples, right? I'm going to go no sugar for 99 days. Never done that in my entire life. Sugar is my one of my biggest weakness. And I teach mental toughness, so go figure, right? <laughs> you see, you teach what you got to remember. All you need to, <laughs> you know. And then two exercise minimum. 40, 40 to 45 minutes every day. Don't matter what, every freaking day. I don't care if you have to break it in three times or 50 minutes. If you got to get up an hour earlier every day, go to sleep an hour late, you just got to do it. 
you got to do three things that you normally don't like. It has to be uncomfortable. Remember why we are doing it. We are rewiring our brain. We are rewiring. We are building this new mental toughness mindset at the beginning of the month, at the beginning of the decade. Remember, this is a long term, guys. You got to be in it to win it. It's like I tell all my clients and all my friends and other people that I'm helping right now with crypto. I tell them, look, go put $100 here, $100 there, $100 there. Let it sit. Don't get greedy. Just let us sit and watch this baby. The ones that did it last year, they have a whole lot of moolah right now to go travel and have some fun. It's the same thing with any other area of our life. It's the little steps, right? You guys remember rules, the, the first three rules that I've been talking about? It's the little things. It's the little things. So that was my two. And then my third is read daily for minimum of 30 minutes. I want you guys to get back into reading. Even if you read on your cell phone or you, but do not go read on the cell phone and let social media distract you from that task. Shut it down the notifications. Give yourself that gift when you are working on this task. This third task here is super powerful. See, for the last, I would say, probably four years solid, you know, I've been every day, I take 30 minutes minimum. I do way more nowadays, but minimum for 30 minutes every day, I read something and I research about cryptocurrency. Every day I do it because I saw how much money I made and how much money I help other people made, but I'm also so curious to understand all the fundamentals, how each project works. Why is that all the banks and the governments are afraid it's because you know they don't. It's, you don't have to pay fees to them anymore. You eliminate third parties. You reduce corruption. You reduce. It's way more safer. It's way more secure having a bank crypto account versus a bank account. A bank account, the the governments, the bank, they can freeze and confiscate your money. They say you're not. They tell you, oh, it's FIDC insured bullshit. No, no, no. Trust me, you see so many horrible stories out there of people being money being confiscated. Many countries, you hear the shit. A crypto bank account, they cannot do that. It's a whole other level, especially if it's a decentralized versus centralized. Banking is centralized. Crypto is decentralized. It's from you to me, from me to you, from you to your cousin. It's from you, from peer to peer. It's no need, no governments, no people, no buildings. Nobody needs to be involved. So you see, when you understand it and you're like, wow, this is so cool. If you're going to donate money, let's say for, a, for your favorite foundation, let's say if you're going to donate $100 or a million, whatever. Let's just use simple numbers. $100, if you're going to donate to a foundation, you normally know all the corruption. And you know out of that 100 they might get a few dollars by the time they get there. Versus if you would donate in crypto, and if that crypto foundation has a crypto bank, which is not that hard to set it up, you just need your name and your email, and then write a, create a password, and you set it up. It's that easy. Most people, oh, this must be complicated. No, I, I must understand coding. No, don't listen to people. And then now you can send the $100, the same 100 to you directly to that foundation that will have the money for the kids there. So no banks, no governments. You didn't have to wait three or five days, five seconds. The fees are like a thousand times less. Cents compares to dollars. So you see, they don't want people to know this shit. But you see, that's why I, I see I love talking about it because I know what is it going to do to poverty. And it ties to my mission, which is make poverty history. Now you know why I'm so excited to talk about crypto all the time. And I'm always showing, if you look at my stories I'm always putting examples. I'm always showcasing how much money my clients and my friends are making. And I'm teaching all these people for free. <laughs> I'm not even charged. I could have charged five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 to teach them, but I'm not because I cannot end poverty that way. I got to lead by example. But you see, that's an example there. Read 30 minutes a day on a topic that's going to help you improve your financial life. I highly recommend you start researching crypto. 30 minutes every day. Read it every day for 99 days you'll be so happy with me that you did it i'm telling you your kids and your grandkids and every future generation from now on they're gonna be so happy if you run out of things to read message me i'll give you articles and i'll give you things to read i have telegram groups that i'm teaching people things that i learned when i used to pay a hundred thousand dollars a year to be part of millionaire crypto groups so it's about 
just do it. Make a declaration today. You're going to do those three things. Whether it's I'm giving up sugar. What is that you love? Is it sugar? Is it ice cream? Is it alcohol? Is it wine? Is it soda? Whatever it is, pick one of those things. You're going to give up for 99 days. And here's the catch. If you break it on day 10, you got to go back to day one. Even if you're doing options two and three, because you're going to do three things, right? In my case, it's on one, number one, no sugar. Number two, exercise, right? The exercise has to be there because it's going to help all of us. 45 minutes a day minimum, 40 to 45. So 40, that's when the heart starts pumping. The extra five will burn the fat. So consult with the doctor and your advisor, just in case. And then three, 30 minutes a day, you're going to read a book or you're going to research into something that can help you create generational wealth. That's going to better your finances. That's going to help you earn money passively on the side without doing nothing. That's going to help you bring in a neck. Let's say if you make 100 grand a year, that's going to help you bring 100 grand extra per year without doing nothing. That's what I'm talking about. So 30 minutes a day, research and read into better improving your financial life. And right now, crypto is trending and the trend is your friend. The trend is your friend. Trust me, I have several projects that I am involved. Watch some of my shows. Message me if you need to learn more about crypto. That I have projects right now that's not even launched yet to the public that you can get involved before the public and you can think what that will do for you. So I'm not going to say nothing, just a little hint. So 99 days, every single day, we got to do it for 99 days. If you are committed to do it, we're going to do it. You don't have to subscribe. You don't have to email. This is you to you. You telling yourself. If you cheat it, it's on your conscience. If you cheat it, you cannot continue counting 99 days. You got to stop it. And you're going to go back to day one. That's the only way how we're going to rewire our brain and really achieve that mental toughness. And it's going to be so cool because, the, see, here's the thing, right? Only 1% of the people will do this. But the 1% of you that stick with me and do it, at the 99 days from now, guys, your mind, your brain, the level of clarity, the level of, of mental toughness, the things that you're going to start, the people are going to start looking at you different. You're going to be like, why they are looking at me? You know what I mean? It's like you're going to walk into places. You're going to be just like fired up, so full of love and energy and vibrancy. And they're going to look at you. They're going to be like, what the heck are they looking at? You know, I'm not even dressed. I don't even have my makeup, whatever is your thing. But they're going to they're gonna feel it's just your vibration. I'm telling you guys, it, 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 this thing, I could literally charge people like freaking, I don't know, 10, 20, 30 grand a year for us to do this, you know, together and hold you accountable. But no, no, it's free. It's a gift for you to give yourself. I really, I, as you guys can see, I really want you to better your life. And all I'm asking you that you go pass it on to somebody else. Go help someone else better their life. Nothing makes me the happiest when I hear somebody reaching out to me and say, hey, thank you, man. Because of you, you inspire me and, and I didn't quit on my life and I have a great relationship. Thank you, Carlos. When nobody was there for me, man. You used to reply back to that text, that Twitter, that email, that Instagram, that messenger. And I, I remember, you know, you when that people come to me all the time, man. I had a hundred dollars to my name, and you told me put fifty on this and take the other fifty and go buy fifty cans of soup. <laughs> so you gotta do what you gotta do, right? I've been there, guys. It's nothing to be ashamed about starting over. The only thing that you should be ashamed of is it stealing or lying. You know, other than that, man, it's like treat people how you treat your grandma. It's like I thought I was saying, you guys over here, I used the quote earlier and I put it, you know, if you just treat yourself in every relationship with the same intensity that you did at the beginning of all relationships, that you have the love and the lasting change, it will never be an end. It will never be an end. And it goes right back into the things that we talk about it here. We covered up today. The beginning that, you know, running away from your problems is a race you never win. We talk about the three rules. A little quick recap, right? Rule number three, we got to pay attention to the little things. Success and failure, they just don't show up. It's making the call. Say, I am sorry. Having a vision that pulls you. You know, doing more for others than anybody else. You know, that's the stuff, man. You do that, you're never going to run out of clients. You're never going to run out of money. You're never going to run out of things. You know, it's just like you're always going to have everything that you want plus something because you are focusing on helping others and separating yourself from the outcome. Go back to this life. Watch the whole thing. Keep showing up over here. Rule number two, progress equal happiness. Changing is automatically. Progress is not. 
to make real progress, you must take full control of this process, whatever is the process that you want to change. It's not me telling you, you. There's something that you want to change, right? Whether it's your body, your relationship, your health, your money, how much money you have in your bank account. Maybe you want a new house. Maybe you want to move to another country. Maybe you want to sell everything and, and, and do a backpack and travel the world. Whatever is your thing. It's your thing. Don't listen to me or to your priest or to your spouse. Listen to you. You know what I mean? Think about it. Listen to other people that they don't know what you want or they don't care about you. It's like, what has done to your life? It's time to peel the onions and let's peel it. Go back to this life. Listen, this is, was a powerful, powerful show today, guys. I'm telling you, this thing is going to go viral. You guys are going to help me too. Hard it up the like button. Subscribe to that channel. Drop it in a hashtag, Carlos, you rock. You know, hashtag, make it personal. Hashtag, Carlos Cicada show. Hashtag, crypto with Carlos. Hashtag, learn with Carlos. Hashtag, daily inspiration, daily motivation, positive vibes. You know, but that's the number one thing right there, my friends. The number one rule of all is raising our standards. And this challenge, the 99 days, is going to help you big time with this because it's going to help you rewire your brain. So you're going to pick your three things. You guys know my one, you're going to need to give up something that you like. Two, you're going to do a physical exercise, 40 minutes minimum. And three, read for 30 minutes minimum something that's going to help you better your financial life. That's going to give you... That the, the ability to make what you are making right now in your job or in your business, you're gonna be able to make that through your finances passively by learning, investing, by learning crypto, quantum, AI, artificial, how artificial intelligence and crypto and quantum computers, how they all connect. Ooh, and what if they all get married? What if Bitcoin and gold get married? What happens there? It's so much out there, guys. I'm telling you, you're going to be so happy that you did this for 99 days. You're going to love your brother Carlos even more. I'm telling you. And then just don't tell people your dreams. Just show it to them, my friends. Too many of those fakers out there, they selling all kinds of shit. And then, you know, and they haven't done shit for themselves. You know, they sell you know, courses on, oh, how to become a multimillionaire on real estate, and they haven't done shit. Their portfolio, they don't even have a portfolio. You know what I mean? People out there selling courses on how to make money online, and they have not even break $100,000 online. You feel me? I'm tired of seeing people taking advantage, and that's why I do what I do, and I love to teach, and people always ask me, why do you teach so much for free, and why don't you charge? You know, at the end of the day, guys, I know when I am dead, the people that love me, they will miss me. And I also know that they're going to go back and they're going to watch all those videos. <laughs> all those videos that I've been doing since my space days. Who here is old enough that remembers my space? In the early 2000s, I've been doing videos for that long. I just love this shit. I love educate. I call educate to dominate. I want to be the best in my niche. It's, I'm so competitive. There's no places for second places. You know what I mean? I just want to win. I want to win. I want to win the number one thing in my life, which is to make poverty history. The only way to do it is by challenging myself every single day. When I do something great, praise the Lord. How can I make it better? Never forget what I'm coming from. Always focus on having the servant attitude, the attitude of gratitude. It's about winning. It's about helping other people win. It's about helping other people from scratch. Just like right now, all these opportunities that we have going on for people making some money. I didn't even put none of them here today on the show. I should have had a little banner over here. We have so many opportunities going on right now, guys. It's just insane. It's insane. You just have to reach out to me like one of you. have big shout to an opportunity that we are doing now. How to earn Bitcoin and Ethereum 24-7, 365 days a year. Even if you have no experience, you can get your free account, get yourself educated, start reading, you know, those 30 minutes. Use those 30 minutes to read and learn about Bitcoin. It's the future. And uh, a big shout for everybody here. Uh, you know, just uh, so many people, um, Facebook user, the fire within. Uh, we got <laughs> room, amen. We got Facebook user, yes, boom, you know. We got uh, um, uh, Moon, great advice, brother. You motivate to follow the fruit sprint of success. It makes me feel inspired total. I, mean, I realize I can apply that in my life and career. You are highly recommended for those who need inspiration. Thank you, my friend, for the kind words. 
Um, we have Facebook user. One, you are one of the most dedicated leaders. It's a blessing to get to work with you. Wow. Thank you so much, my friend. God bless you. Praise the Lord, my friend. Without him, I couldn't be here. I couldn't be alive. Everything, my brother. Uh, we got a uh, sugarless chocolate. You're still messing with that chocolate, huh? Exercise 40 minutes a day. Yes, sir. Thank you, brother. You're taking notes. We got Facebook user. 99-day challenge accepted. That's what I'm talking about. You know, that's what I'm talking about. Let's just message me, you know, on Instagram. Whenever I'm doing my show, let me know how that's going. We're going to be here. Our shows is Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. My personal show is Mondays and Fridays. Wednesdays, I'm doing teaching. I'm doing the show with Mo. And uh, we are teaching, and it's just awesome. A lot of great stuff, guys. We are producing amazing things. TV shows, movies, documentaries. Uh, it's just so many cool things happening right now. I don't. Need, it's just amazing. I don't want to talk about it because, you know, I don't say things to impress you. It's to impress upon you. It's for all of us to take massive action. Um, we we'll say you are making a difference, man. Uh, you should be thinking more of now. Man, I, thank you, brother. Thank you, and praise the Lord. Trust me, the Lord has... Uh, um, Gave me everything that I need plus something. Um, <laughs> original South say MySpace, baby. Do you know about MySpace? Early 2000s, MySpace. We got Jackie. Thank you so much for helping us. You are welcome, sister. You are welcome, my friend. I just love helping women making money out there. You know it. I was raised by women. I seen a lot of women suffering out there. And I just love every time that I help a woman. And as I always tell myself, you know. If it would be your grandma will be here, brother. What would you do? You know, treat everybody like you treat your grandma, like you treat your mama. And I'm telling you, you're never going to go home. <laughs> you know, I'm <laughs> so much to be silly here. You know, but. <laughs> all right. All right, all right. Okay, guys, I'm just so fired up. I'm just so grateful. I just love you guys, man. You guys are awesome. We got so much love here. You know, Jack, I appreciate it. You know, original style. Got people here, LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, Roku, Amazon TV. You guys are just, just awesome, man. Thank you so much. Monday motivation, right on. That's how we're gonna start, man. That's the first show of the year. We take into a whole nother level. Share this, guys. Share this show, you know, um, and uh, get more people to watch it. We're gonna be helping a lot of people. Don't, you know, like I always say, man. Don't tell people your dreams. Let's show them. Let's showcase by results. Whenever you guys have a result and whenever you guys see a win from all the projects that we are working, put it there on social media. Hashtag me, tag me. You know, more people out there need to know. Sometimes people, they are afraid. They tell themselves stories. I don't have enough experience. I don't have this. Oh, I will never do it. Uh, 99 challenge is a free challenge. This thing is going to change your life. For the ones that do it, congratulations. God bless you. You're going to meet somebody which is going to be yourself. 99 days from now, you're not going to recognize that person. The world is not going to recognize that person. I need to drink to need to drink some more water since now I don't drink alcohol anymore. For ninety nine days, <laughs> then on my birthday I'll have a shot. But I'm telling you, that feels good. I just love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. You know, all of you guys are awesome. I mean, always showing the love, man. You're out there, man, helping so many people. Keep always showing up, man, and uh, you know. Man, God is going to bless you, my friend. He's going to keep blessing you for being who you are. And uh, we're going to be killing it, my friend. You are already bringing people and your team in the crypto space. Man, you guys are all rocking it. I'm super proud of you as a leader, leading your team. And I, I just, you know, anything that you need, my friend, reach out to your brother here. I'm going to continue empowering you and all your friends and all your people to continue making some money in the crypto space. Joe, my brother from another mother out there in Australia. We got people here from around the world, man. Another apostle here. Um, it's just like, I really appreciate you guys. Uh, Tabata, no limit, baby. Hell yes, yeah, sister. You keep it on pushing, my friend. Rockstar out there. No limits, baby. Check it out, man. Tabata is awesome. 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 In out of Canada. We got people here globally. You know, my boy, Jerry's. What's up, Jerry's? Rock it, baby. And I uh, just, uh, Facebook user. Boom. You know, rock and roll, guys. I'm going to check out. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you guys every Monday, every Wednesday, every Friday at 5 p.m. Pacific time. I'm also on Telegram a whole lot lately. Every day I'm on Telegram teaching people. 
uh, crypto, teaching people how to make, how to earn their first six, seven, and eight figures online. I'm telling you, we're going to give the poverty a run for its money because life is about the mission, never the commission. The commission we don't take with us. People forget what you say, but they're never going to forget how you made them feel. They're never going to forget who has been there for them when nobody else showed up. Life is always about the contribution, never the acquisition. Opportunities, there will be times where they will not knock, but you will build every single day a door. You're going to make your declaration every single day to call more people, to cheer them on, to love yourself more often, to go through the 99 days with me together. And remind ourselves throughout those 99 days, it's not going to be easy. I'm telling you right now, you will want to quit. You will want to give up. But you're going to remember your brother Carlos hugging you, lifting you out of the floor, reminding you that the biggest, badasses, badassiness, most awesomeness year and decade out of your personal out of your business, out of your relationship, out of your finances, out of every, your spiritual, out of every era of your life, will never be the same. And that the days that break you, my friend, are truly the days that make you. Peace, I love you, let's get it. Let's go make this world a better place. Hashtag Carlos Inspired Show, hashtag it. Let's get it. It's about to go down. <laughs> like it, subscribe, share it. Tag three people here. Go nuts. Tag 99 people here. Share this post, whatever you are. If you're on Roku right now on Amazon, go on one of the other social medias and share it there, baby. Let's do it. Let's start right now. 99 days. Today is January 4th. It's your time. Your brother Carlos over here. Pray for you. Love you. Wishing you massive amounts of health, wealth, peace, and a whole lot of love.